Once upon a time, there were three valiant heroes chosen by a magical artifact called the Trine. You may have heard another tale of how they met. Let me tell you a story of their latest adventure. Something mysterious and magical was taking place in the forest. First of the three heroes was Amadeus, a wizard. Not perhaps the bravest or the most powerful, but he was clever and sensible. Then there was Pontius the knight, fearless protector of the realm, who loved good food, drink and battle. Last but not least was Zoya, a thief. An entrepreneur. An entrepreneur. She was mysterious and only seen as a passing shadow on a cloudy night. Amadeus the wizard was asleep in his cottage. It was a place where he could study his fireball spell, hidden from the scornful eye of his wife. Ah, turn it off. I'm sleeping here. What is it? Who's there? How very strange. The path ahead was blocked, but this wouldn't stop the great wizard, Amadeus. With his magic, he could lift objects. Amadeus could also conjure boxes out of thin air. The light moved through the forest, leading Amadeus further. Torn between fear and wonder, he followed. I demand to know what's happening. The trine. Not this again. <gasps> Pontius! Amadeus, get your things! We need to save the kingdom! What? Oh, this won't do at all, Pontius. I've children waiting for me to come home. I can't leave. But your magics are needed. The kingdom is in danger. <sighs> Will this nightmare ever be over? Despite his reluctance, Amadeus knew that the heroes were needed once more. How did you end up here? Let me tell you. Pontius had headed out that evening, for there was trouble on the peasant farms. Creeping vines were taking over the fields. Hmm. A warlock must be behind this devilry. I'll find him and teach him a lesson with my sword. With luck, there'll be pumpkin pie for dinner tonight. Pontius searched the farm, but saw no one there. Hmm. The nasties must have fled at the sight of me. The trine! 
Darius had never understood what exactly the Trine did, but he knew that the artifact was there to help. And so Pontius felt happy. He couldn't think of a better quest than saving his kingdom. Late that night, Zoya was concealed in the shadows, hidden from the shimmering moonlight. through the town as quietly as a whisper. Then she saw a glimmering light moving on top of the old church. your old tricks and thievery. <laughs> oh, there's a perfectly good explanation for this. Tell me, where are we going? We don't really know yet. Something strange is going on. A new venture. Shall we go then? <laughs> 